Greetings, Earthlings, Wisdom Keepers, Wisdom Seekers. Welcome back to Wisdom Drops, your source for daily drops of wisdom and savvy cat astrology. My name is Tanya, and today we are discussing the Capricorn new moon that is happening in your fifth house, Virgo. If you are a Virgo, ascendant, sun, or moon, this video is for none other than you. And specifically, Virgo, you're going to have, by the end of it, an overview and a really good detail, kind of like a list that you can refer back on as far as what is going to be going on and very likely playing out for you over the next month between mid-January and mid-February 2021. And Virgo, let me tell you, first off, I love y'all. I am such a sucker for Virgos. I really appreciate your energy. I love your detailed oriented nature, your improvement oriented nature. I just love that about Virgo. You're very real people. I appreciate the criticisms you give. Um, I especially appreciate when they're constructive. Um, I just, I, lo I love Virgo. You know, I think Virgo is a dope sign. It's really good, especially for like holistic people or like people who are yogis who have Virgo energy. I just eat y'all up. But um, this video, trust me when I say, um, is gonna give you a good, feeling, I think, because um, the fifth house is a very auspicious house, Virgo, and this is where this new beginning is happening for you, and throughout discussion, if you haven't seen the basic video I did yet, Virgo, on this new moon in general, like for everybody, you might want to check it out. It's going to tell you a lot more about the moon itself, but you can also um, understand through this interpretation that this new moon itself is kind of darker. It's kind of more of a shadow energy. Well, there's no real kind of to it because it's in a Saturn ruled sign, Capricorn, which is a malefic, and it has Pluto conjuncted, which we're about to look at the screen. We're about to look at all the juicy details in the chart. But before we do, a couple of quick announcements for a go. Number one, if you're not already subscribed to this YouTube channel, uh, welcome. If you are, hey, thanks for being here. But I do put out a video, Virgo, every day of the week. And it's right now no expense to you or anybody to access this. And you can subscribe and hit the bell notification. And basically, you'll get my updates. And um, every day, you'll get a new, a new message of inspiration, of knowledge, of whatever this channel means and is to you. You'll get that. And so I'm here for that. And um, I'm really grateful because we have hundreds and hundreds of people in this community at this point and we're only growing so join us if you vibe we're here for the people on a spiritual track of health and wellness that use astrology as a skill um, to advance themselves and appreciate the the cosmic divinity you know um, for better and worse um, in our lives and really kind of learn how to work the best with the cosmic energies so that's that number two uh, you can hit the like button if this video does bring you any value. If you find at any point you're like, oh, that's valuable, you can hit the like button because that actually is a great way to like show gratitude to me for putting in the effort of making this content and sharing it with more people so that they get more information for less expense, zero dollar. They don't have to pay nothing but clicking on this video. So the more likes it gets, the more people who see it. And that's pretty cool how the internet works in that regard. Last but not least, Virgo, I have been having a real pleasure lately going through clients' charts with them live and also pre-recorded. I offer both options. Um, it's just been really good. I felt like, you know, a lot of my clients lately, there's just a really deep resonance with, and um, it's been really good to see a lot of like consistent commenters in my recent reading uh, client base. So um, it's really cool to like get, get to just get, get to know the community more, the people who are always here commenting and stuff. So if you're thinking about a reading um, or if you want to book a session definitively, please do check out my email address and reach out to me there, which is in the description of this video down below. Last but not least, I'm going to be drawing or painting um, during this, just kind of a vibe piece, um, Virgo. So just on the moon and just because I'm like the the female centrally uh, feminine Bob Ross of astrology. So we're just gonna do it. Also, uh, let's share a screen and get started. So with that, boom. So Virgo, this is, as I said, happening in your fifth house because here you are at five signs away is Capricorn and it's at 23 degrees of Capricorn, but notice what my cursor is on, which is Pluto, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. 
Pluto is the ruler of Scorpio, which is your third house in modern astrology, that is, um, because Mars originally rules Scorpio. But that's your communications planet. And your communications planet is going to be a signal to us in terms of like how exactly this energy is going to ultimately end up manifesting for you as a Virgo. So your something to do with your communications is getting a purge. It's getting a cleanse. And in the process of purging and cleansing your communications, guess what? Good news. You're also cleansing and purifying your fifth house, which is what you enjoy in your life and what you ultimately are here um, to have experienced pleasure within. Fifth house is your pleasure house. So whatever brings you joy, like at a fun level, like whatever creative hobbies you have, because the fifth house is associated with creations, now is the time to delve into them. And I know you as a Virgo, you're all about like, sure, the specific things, but you're about things that you can do um, multiple times and in different ways and uh, kind of even advance yourself in terms of your skill while you're having fun. You're a very brainy sign. So you like to engage your brain, even if it is, you know, for no kind of distinct purpose, so to speak. It's also like, it can be for specific purposes and building your craft because Virgo is a very improvement oriented energy as I alluded to before. So the fifth house outside of that kind of like omen indicator, oh dear, that y'all have going on right now. Um, it's also <laughs> your fifth house is romance and pleasure. So if you are having a romantic encounter as a Pisces, or excuse me, as a Virgo, it's very likely going to be well supported at this time. I think you can have a lot of really groovy kind of romantic exchanges with people and maybe kind of like take things uh, at a pleasurable level to the next level. So Virgo, I think a classic example this might play out as to give you an, a specific example, say you've had a romantic, like flirty, kind of like not so serious, like whatever, whatever, kind of like, you know, romantic engagement, or you've been talking with somebody and it's been kind of like flirty and fun, but you're like, where does this really leave us? Is this really a thing? Does this relationship have any substance? Or maybe you just had the intention, Virgo, that like, this is all fun and games right now, like no biggie, you know? And then all of a sudden this new moon happens and between mid-January and mid-February, you're just like, holy shit, this is something that I did not think it was before. This is something that has way more substance than I was originally thinking it did. Um, Cause Pluto is the get real planet. Pluto is the planet of truth, honey. So when you see Pluto at the party, there ain't no such thing as lying. You see what I'm saying? Like Pluto is the real deal energy. So if you're going to deal with it, um, deal with it. And Pluto is going to force you to deal with it. And that's going to be for better or for worse or for longer or for shorter. What I'm saying is if you've had that romantic fling, things are going to change right now. And even your hobbies of, that are joyful to you, things are likely to be somehow changed there at this point and really bring you a new kind of like perspective that is more in alignment with your truth. So in other words, that flirty little thing that you might have been having with somebody, Virgo, it's going to get real serious real quick. And it's going to be real apparent real quick that you actually have like a little bit more substance or a lot more substance than you thought. And you were going to find yourself, I would be surprised if you didn't find yourself, put it that way, in a situation where you have to get real. It's like, wait, is this really a thing? Oh shit, this is really a thing. Or wait, this is not really a thing at all. And I'm not going to treat it as such. But because Pluto's there and it's in a Saturn ruled sign, it's in your fifth house. So yeah, it's fun and games, but it's a Saturn ruled fifth house. So it's serious. Because that is where this is, I think you're going to find that um, fun and games becomes serious real quick, in other words, for better or for worse. So again, I'm never, ever trying to scare y'all. However, I am going to be honest with you and Frank when I say, you know, this could be unwanted pregnancy or this could be um, wanted pregnancy and shit gets real, real quick, you know, um, whatevs. It could be something like that, like a deal breaker kind of energy or like a, a get real, real quick kind of energy. And there's an explosive quality to this because look at this Taurus, Mars, Uranus. You see that explosive kind of like Mars, Uranus thing going on there in your ninth house which is another benefic house, another earth sign. So you're getting a lot of energy, even though your sign doesn't look very lit up. Virgo, it is. Like, trust me when I say it is, because 
look at all these other earth signs that are having all this activation. And Mars and Uranus together in your ninth house is like an explosive energy of your belief system. So you're a Virgo, right? And um, you might have experienced some deeper truth in yourself or being, you might be currently being forced to come to grasp to truth with those truths that you haven't wanted to talk about in reference to your belief systems at this time. That might be in terms of your partner, your romantic partner, even like friends with that fifth house kind of energy, friends who you have fun with, who you know, just for the sake of like having pleasure in your life, right? those kind of fifth house creatures, even kids, like if you already have kids, Virgo, you could totally be related to your kids. Like you might have to get really real, real quick with your kids about your belief systems. And there is some explosive tendency there. I'm not trying to lie to you because um, there just is, if you look at this chart, it, there really is like some explosive energy at the table. And uh, with that Mars Uranus conjunction in the ninth house of belief systems. So if your kids clash with you with belief systems right now, it's not a surprise. Mark my words, it will not be a surprise after seeing this video. You'll be like, oh, Tanya prepared me for this. I know what this is. And how do you reconcile it is not by getting too crazy with your belief systems and pushing them onto people. Um, and I get it, Virgo, you're an improver. You're not like always, you're not trying to be a critic all the time. You know what I mean? Like you just are here to kind of improve things and people who understand you understand that. People who don't understand you, Virgo, they don't understand that about you. They don't, they just don't get that. They don't get that. And so um, under this influence of this energy, be real about your beliefs. Ninth house, Taurus, Uranus conjunction. Of course, be real, you know, but don't try not to get too explosive with it because from your sixth house, ouch, not the best house, Saturn, E, a malefic in that sixth house is getting serious and is squaring that Mars. So you could end up really effing yourself up in some shape or form um, with this energy if you don't, A, embody and kind of acknowledge and embrace the truth of your beliefs that needs to be addressed, and B, do it in a way that is kind of adult and mature, because Saturn is the mature energy of the planetary palette. And it's basically asking you to, yeah, get real about these beliefs things, but don't fall prey, don't fall victim to the volatility that this ninth house Mars uh, Uranus conjunction is giving you. So allow yourself to speak your truth by all means, Aquarius, but don't forget that other people have their own experiences and that just because you see the truth in a situation or you see how something needs to go for the improvement of anything, doesn't mean that that person is gonna actually feel that. And that's not to say you're wrong. You might be wrong, we're all wrong sometimes, it's cool. But um, you know, I'm just saying like, be aware. Be aware that like, you might be really abrasive is what I'm trying to say. You might come across as really embrace, abrasive right now, Virgo, and it would serve you to focus less on the issue and more on how to constructively solve it over the fullness of time because Saturn and Mars are the two like malefic planets and anything started under this energy, it kind of has a propensity to solidify itself further and over time and through dedication um, and through kind of like climbing up a mountain because there is all this like juicy opportunity to grow things with a Pluto conjunct the new moon, that's power. You can, excuse me, you can change your whole power move around your pleasures and your passion projects and your creations if you are and Virgo um, rising sun or moon at this time, because, you know, that's going to give you that power leg up in your creation house, the fifth house of passion projects and creations like businesses or children that you already have or looking to have, like I say. So just think about, think about it, think about it, be aware if you're not trying to have a baby right now, you better be listening to me, Virgo, because you're about to have a baby, you know what I'm baby, you do know you need to say to have a baby, you know what I'm saying, I'm not going to say it, but you know what I'm saying, I just said it. So anyways, this is my painting. I'm going to show you, don't worry, that I made. This kind of the vibe. Um, I think I gave you some pretty darn solid advice in this video. So I hope it serves you. And you know it did. So hit that like button because it brings other people the value. And this is kind of the energy that I think you're kind of like going through. Um, with this new moon there's like all of this kind of like explosive tendency and intention in the air but you have this ability to like turn it into fun 
turn it into like confetti, you know, like turn it into something that is romantic and pleasurable and brings you a sense of play. Fifth house, you know, it's a new beginning in your fifth house. And yeah, there's darkness there to deal with. And there's a subconscious psyche level to deal with. And there's real shit you got to get to the core of. But it doesn't mean it can't be a party in the process. It doesn't mean you can't enjoy yourself um, around that experience, Virgo. You are Virgo. You know how to manage. So manage your experience of this new moon conjunct Pluto intense in your fifth house of fun and pleasure and romance and creations. <laughs> See, astrology for the win. Uh, I think I already said like this video if it brought you value, but make sure you do and put a comment down below if you feel so inclined, letting us know how you feel around this moon energy or what as video suggestions, et cetera, et cetera. And with that said, through next time, until next time, may the stars be with you. Peace.